Hey. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Corn Beaner. Uh, today, I want to talk to you guys about a little program called FF Split. Uh, I use FF Split now to capture all the video game footage that I want to capture for my YouTube channel. Uh, prior to this, I was using Fraps. Uh, one of the reason, main reasons why I want to switch is because Fraps files tend to be extremely huge. Um, one minute of gameplay footage turns into one gigabyte of actual footage and you know that's just a lot of hard drive space that it takes up so I wanted to find something I tried XSplit free I didn't like how limiting XSplit free was as far as frame rates and resolutions and a couple other things so I looked for something else and FF Split actually seems to have a great um, a great starting point for anybody who may want to start doing a YouTube channel for video games or anything else um, this seems to be a really good middle ground. So just off the base, this is what it actually looks like when you uh, download everything. This is your FF source. This is what's being recorded at the time, this screen here. And this is your console. This is right currently at my session. When you do the capture, it shows what the video source is, uh, the playback device, and my microphone um, settings. And then you can also set a couple encode settings. I have it currently at 2500. I find it to be a great middle ground. I've set it up as high as 3500 and you know you can tell the difference between 2500 and 3500 but again I find 2500 to be a great middle ground and it keeps the file sizes more manageable. Uh, the encode preset I left at default. The video resolution I put it at its 720p resolution so it's 1280 by 720. You can set this up to 1080 if you'd like. Um, again it's just preference uh, you know the, the 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 file size themselves maintain manageable at this resolution uh, the video frame rate you can set this from 10 to 30 frames a second at five frames a second interval so you can go from 10 15 20 25 30 once you hit 30 to 60 you'll be hitting 30 45 and 60 I find that recording at 30 is actually more beneficial because even though a game like a Call of Duty Devil May Cry or I think even Mark of the Ninja uh, a Starcraft uh, play at 60 frames or above most of the cutscenes that are shown in those games are rendered recorded and done in 30 frames a second so if you record at 60 frames a second there will be some audio video desyncing on those particular those particular sections of the game it, it, I found that to be the the problem with what I've you know what what I've done and so I want to give you guys a heads up on that audio bit rate I left this at default so it's 128 and it's also stereo uh, another thing here is the settings you can do all this other stuff here enable arrow and all this other stuff I really don't know what they're for I didn't use them uh, the offline recording options here is where I ran into another problem uh, I have three hard drives on my computer I have my regular C drive you know for my boot ups and everything else I have an F drive which is mainly my backup drive. And I'm sorry if you can hear my dogs out in the window. And I have my M drive. My M drive is where I do everything. All my rendering, all my capturing, all my gameplays, everything is done off of my M drive. So the main problem that I have with FS Split off the start is that I installed this on my M drive. And when I went to capture footage, I was capturing it onto my M drive. So since I was playing Mark of the Ninja off my M drive and capturing Mark of the Ninja onto my M drive, it didn't matter what I set the, the record session to, I would always get video audio desync. One of the ways that I alleviated that was by lowering the resolution, making sure I was at 30 frames a second, and then making sure that I recorded the footage onto a separate hard drive. So I record everything off my M, sorry, I play everything off my M and record it onto my F. And that has seemed to actually alleviate a lot of the audio video desyncing another good thing about uh, FF split that you don't get and say in next split free is that you actually can pick between file formats between FLV MKV and mp4 I choose mp4 once again because it's a great middle ground it seems that everything nowadays from smartphones to YouTube and everything else accepts an mp4 format so it just makes it easier for me to work with uh, I do have two recordings here uh, one at 30 frames and one at 60 frames of my test playthrough of Mark of the Ninja. Unfortunately, when I recorded it on the first shoot of this video, um, I get desyncs recording the video that I actually recorded already. So I'm just going to try to explain this to you guys um, 
and you guys are gonna have to take my word for it because I can't show you because then it just looks awful. So at 30 frames a second, the end cutscene is pretty much in sync. If you see any type of desyncing, it is very, very minimal and you have to be looking for it. And that was at 1287, you know, by 720 at 30 frames a second. This one here was recorded at the same resolution, but I upped the recording speed to 60 frames a second. And during the end cutscene, the video and audio desync by as much as a second, as little as, you know, like maybe half a second to as much as a whole second. And it was pretty obvious just watching it that it was out of sync. It, it just looked weird. Uh, if you look at the two file sizes, again, this is longer videos, 15 minutes. At 250 megabytes, this one was about 10 minutes. At 173 megabytes, the same two videos done in Fraps would easily be 10, 15 gigabytes. So there alone, you know, I can just capture, uh, capture, upload it, and then go back to capturing again, which saves me a lot of time, which is always a great thing nowadays. So I think that is all. Again, this was just like a quick, like, tutorial slash intro into FF Split. If anybody out there is interested in making YouTube videos and you don't know where to start, if you don't want to use Fraps, if you don't want to use another program, you don't want to pay for XSplit Pro or whatever it is that, you know, whatever the paid program for XSplit is, FF Split is a good starting point. Again, I just recommend having two hard drives or actually going to run into desyncing issues and uh, keep it at 30 frames a second to record the whole time. Believe me, the gameplay itself from 30 to 60, you really can't tell. So that's what I would recommend. If you don't have two hard drives, don't feel bad. Just keep it at 30. Yes, you're going to see some desyncing in the videos and cutscenes of your games, but it's not going to be too bad to the point where if you're just starting off, hey, you're just starting off. Later on, you can you know add another hard drive for really cheap that you're going to record to. These file sizes are small, so you you're not going to need a big, expensive hard drive to record onto, which is kind of the opposite of Fraps. The one good thing I will say about Fraps is that it records at whatever speed um, that's playing on screen, so it does adjust itself really, really well. But again, if you have that problem where you have one hard drive, um, you're going to run out of hard drive space really, really quick doing prolonged sessions. So yeah, that's the video I want to do for right now on FF Split. If you guys have any questions or any type of comments feel free to ask them down below i will try to answer them as far as the capturing portion of fs split to the best of my knowledge i have not used this to stream to twitch tv you can do it i believe there's a ton of videos on youtube that if you just put fs split streaming twitch tv tutorial or something along those lines you know people will explain that portion of fs split a lot better than i can so yeah this has been corn Beaner. thank you guys for watching i hope this has been somewhat helpful and I will see you guys next time. Bye.